Oh, hey, how are you? Oh, what's going on? Me uh, today, um, I'm at a place which I love and where I get my compost from. Um, I'll turn you around so I'll show you. As you guys can see, we have mulch and more. I come here and get all my compost and seaweed mulch and mushroom compost. Got my trailer happening, as you can see. So I'm gonna um, get the three ingredients um, and let's show it. Let's let's ha let's go in. <laughs> so basically, um, I'm gonna be grabbing a bucket of garden compost, a bucket of seaweed mulch and a bucket of, um, sorry, half a bucket of seaweed mulch and a, a bucket of mushroom. Very, very, very important for the fungi been in the soil. It's amazing. We're about to see him load it up. Oh! So he's just changing buckets at, as we speak. And um, he's gonna be loading me up. I think the mushrooms are around the back somewhere. Um, looking looking forward to it. I've had great results with these three ingredients of organic matter which the worms love and um, the quality of this uh, garden compost the garden compost comes from Mount Gambia I don't know where the seaweed mulch comes from but uh, I tell you what lots and lots of trace minerals it's got in there oh and there's the mushroom there he goes there he goes. Oh, look at this. It's coming. She's coming, guys. She's coming. Here she comes. <laughs> so I'm pretty much getting a yard, a bucket of mushroom. As you see. Really, really good for holding water. And now he's gonna go and grab a bucket of uh, the garden. Because I'm getting prepared for winter, so um, I've got to get some seedlings in. Look at the steam coming off that. Look at the steam. Steamed out, tells you. So by mixing these three ingredients inside, look at the quality of that. Yeah, this, I, I know for a fact there's no um, pesticides in it and all the rubbish in it. This stuff has uh, been composted down um, really, really good. That's why I keep coming back here because it's good quality stuff. My, my veggies that I've, I've planted in my plot has gone completely great, crazy. Like, you've seen some of the videos of um, what I've been growing. Um, the garden comp compost has already got some um, sandy soil in it, loamy soil mixed in. Um, I don't need loamy soil because I've got plenty on site at home. So, um, he's just giving me a half a bucket of... Uh, seaweed and then I'm gonna go and pay for it so that's my mix that's uh, what I'm doing this morning before I start work you gotta have some sort because I look I don't often uh, spray um, I, I use a compost tea hey thanks bro Thanks, bro. Say hello to everyone. <laughs> hello. TikTok and uh, YouTube. Oh, God. Cheers, <laughs> mate. Thanks, bro. Ciao. All right. I've got to go pay, guys. I'll see you soon. So that's what I do, guys. Um, that's where I go. At least I know where everything comes from, where where it's been made, all these, all these sorts of things. These things are crucial because you don't want any type of pesticides going into your mix and destroying your like life in the soil as well as the plants you need to have that life in there guys 
by having life in the soil um, gives you better chances of um, the uh, food soil web so I also got chicken manure that's composted down and cow manure and shit, horse horse shit um, I mix all that in with rock dust and worm castings so this is this is what I do this is my system this is why I have so much so much success in growing stuff at home on a farm which is dry as anything so the by putting all these ingredients in the soil in the rows because I do no till I just mix it all up together and uh, um, just add it on top so I don't dig into the soil so I just add it like I said and this is why my this is my way of modeling nature so basically by putting these ingredients it uh, encourages worms to come up and uh, feeds feeds uh, whatever's underground um, yeah so that's what I do this is why I've got things growing like crazy at home by putting that's why I got chickens I compost it all that down so I mix it all the way through and the plants will take up what they want to take up so by having life in the soil they colonize around the roots of all the plants and um, and don't forget that's what feeds the plants the fungi and the microbes and um, and the very 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 important part of the soil for me um, is the worms worms is what consumes or all the little tiny bits and pieces of food scraps and um, so it's not only the microbes um, breaking down the organic matter but it's also the worms so yes for me that's how I do things and I try not to wet wet the leaves and all that stuff so I haven't really been doing the compost teas um, which I'm going to get into um, I'm also a member of uh, Biochard so it's a place in Mambarka it's a place where um, um, which is how the Amazon rainforest has been created because the ancient Indians ancient uh, indigenous people in the Amazon uh, created biochar and activated it by um, mixing it in with in the rainforest anyway you, apparently the, they're saying that um, the Amazon rainforest is a uh, indigenous garden grown wild so and they worked with nature and I just for me that's like um, a big thing and uh, yeah and a few other gardener gardening shows um, and the old school knowledge from my family traditionally growing no-till system work with nature um, that's my in my family so I'm just modifying it by adding some organic matter and uh, and adjusting to the new system so uh, that's what drives me um, what drives me is to try and teach others to grow food and um, not rely on uh, governments and stuff so because in the old days when my parents come here they grew food and uh, that's what kept them alive and when they first come here they uh, couldn't afford to go and, go and buy food a lot in those days and it's getting the same way now here in Australia so everything's getting way too expensive so by me doing these things hopefully I'll do more videos where I can teach others uh, before I was only just um, showing you what I do in my garden so um, you, you don't need me to teach you you've got other people already teaching all this stuff so that's why I did my gardening page all these down to earth gardens because I get down to earth and model nature and uh, show what I do so hopefully that would inspire you to move forward and for everyone out there so much love guys um, I'm gonna go 
Um, I'm going to say this. I say this every time now. So uh, we are all relations. We are all one. Um, we are all family, guys, because we live on this earth. And there's only one planet we got. We got to look after it. Okay. And I'm only leasing this property, so I'm only renting on here. So I leave a trail of garden. So, all right. Uh, much love to you all. I'm always here. Aussie Wog. <laughs> Pull this damn to earth over and out. Chop, chop. Oh! <laughs>